Some students are already back in class and a lot of others will be starting a week from tomorrow. To help everyone get ready with the new school year, we're checking out some of the biggest changes for back to school issues. Lauren Fultenberg has more. Educational Outfitters is bursting at the seams. Vicki Wegner's store has seen increases in business each year since it opened. Schools um, are getting stricter with their uniform pro policies and um, they're trying to eliminate the peer pressure. There's no bullying really because if you don't have the right clothes and you can just, you wear what everybody's wearing. It's getting tougher to fit dress codes that prohibit spaghetti straps, sagging pants, and other revealing clothing. It's a lot of things that you buy at um, the department stores now. They're tight and skinny, too low cut. Which is why when it comes to school fashion, uniforms are in. Which then takes that whole piece off that pressure during the school day where they can concentrate on the other pieces that are important to concentrate on. And a lot of people say that shopping for school uniforms has never been easier. For one thing, more schools than ever are requiring them. Plus, there are more colors and styles to choose from. But in some districts like Dansville, uniforms have never been on the table. We do believe that there's some um, creativity that kids can express and some individualism through what they wear. Superintendent Amy Hodgson says she wants students to be ready for a place where there aren't uniforms. Our focus would be on how do you treat people and how do you address those kind of disrespect issues. So when students leave school, they're more prepared socially. Lauren Fultzenberg, Fox 47 News. Now, some schools don't require uniforms all the time. Many of them have monthly casual dress days to change things up a bit.